Hey babes, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, my name is Lena, and on this channel I do makeup, hair, vlogs, and more, just kinda depending on the day. And on today's video, I am doing a soft glam with a pop my glowing type soft glam because i can't really just call it a soft glam if it's not just like maturity you know soft and matte but i just feel like glowing today and as you can see with my highlight i am glowing so i just say a soft glam with a pop or a glowing soft glam and so if you want to see how i created this look right here just keep on watching cue intro Hello babes, I'm going to start with my Cody Airspun setting powder and I'm going to go ahead and set my skincare. I learned this from Jackie Ina. I'm using it as a barrier between my makeup and my skincare. And I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Stick Foundation and apply it all over the face and all the areas that are needed. Then taking my Real Technique sponge and just really blending that in to perfection. I'm really going for a soft and natural type look. Then I'm taking my setter spray to bring longevity to the foundation and just bring it in closer to whatever. Now I'm taking the concealer by Juvia's Place as well and applying it under the eyes in all highlighted areas. And then I'm taking a Best Dope brush, concealer brush, and I'm just blending it in. I also like to take my sponge just to further blend to make sure there is no, no streakiness and everything is great. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the Cody Airspun and that same brush and just set the under eyes softly. I don't like to bake. Now I'm taking the puff that comes with the Cody Airspun and just taking little by little and setting the rest of the face. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take my bronzer from Black Radiance in the shade Bronze Glow, and I'm going to put that all in the contour areas. Now I'm going to take the same brush and use my Maybelline Fit Me um, Pressed Powder in the shade Mocha. And I'm just going to further contour my face. Now I'm going to use a small Morphe brush and use my bronzer to contour my nose. Now I'm going to take the Iconix uh, Prep Set and Glow Mist to really just set my face in place. Then I'm going to take the Kiss um, Brow Pencil, Top Brow, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw in the brows. Um, hopefully soon I'll be doing a brow um, video, but right now uh since my benefit pencil ran out i have been using this one now i'm taking this brow um collection and i'm using the highlighting cream and i'm just cutting the brows now
Then I'm taking the brow gel that came in there and just setting the brow hairs in place. Taking my Wet n Wild concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and prime the eyelids. Then I'm taking my Juvia's Place palette and taking the two lighter shades and I'm just going to use that as a nice transition shade. Then I'm taking a motor brush, it's a shading brush, and I'm going to take a dose from the Dose of Colors palette that uh, medium brown, and I'm just going to put that into the crease. Also, you can see I am feathering it out towards the brow, just to give it a more pull to the eyelid. Then I'm going in with another Best Dope brush, and I'm going into the uh, Fairy Tale Cosmetics book lid shadow, and I'm going to Nottingham, and I'm putting that on the lid after spraying my brush to give more pigment to the brush. Added more dimension, and now I'm going in with eyeliner with the Hank and Henry eyeliner. As you can see, I messed up here, but you know what? It's okay. I had to calm down. Had a little breakdown for a minute, but I soon got an idea. I went ahead and sprayed the brush, and I took that shadow, and I just covered the mistakes. This is, e this is a good tip for anybody that messes up their eyeliner and don't want to redo the entire look. Now I'm taking this NYX white eyeliner and put it in the waterline. And I'm taking this Morphe kind of paintbrush looking one. And I'm taking that brown shade from Dosa's Colors and run it down the lower lash line. And then I'm using that same motor brush and I'm just like feathering out the eyeshadow. Then I'm taking my Wet n Wild powder brush and doing my blush with Blush Crush from Ulta Beauty. And I'm just putting that all over the cheeks as well as the nose because I love that so much. For what reason? I don't know. Then I'm taking my Best Dope Fan Brush and I'm going into my Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. And I'm just going to run that on the cheeks and the nose. I love the glow it gives. I love it. Then I'm taking a Morphe brush. And it's like M4 or something. And I'm taking it and putting it in the inner corners of my eyes. As well as giving, giving the nose some more highlights. And then I'm taking a Maybelline Rich Chocolate um, Lip Liner for my lipstick. And I'm taking Nude Mood and Dose of Colors Lipstick to give me that nice nude look that I love. And then I'm going with my Maybelline um, Mascara because I left my lashes at home so I gotta go buy more. <laughs> And then I'm taking my Hank and Harry mascara for my lower lash line. Well, lower lashes. <laughs> Been really practicing that. And now I'm setting the face. This is the end of the look. Okay, you guys. So this is the final look. And we're just going to go ahead and cue the B-roll. Okay, so that is the finished look. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed creating this beautiful look. This is my version of the soft glam, but with a pop, with the glowiness. Um, this is something that I would wear when I want to be super cute, 
but not too much not too colorful and so this is how I chose to do it it was really difficult to figure out how I want to do it because um, the paper I was watching was either too light or too dark and so I had to really find colors that really matched my face and yeah so if you want to see more videos such as this one go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell click it click it now now click it click it now now um go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it comment anything anything you want to comment i will be reading it I might just reply so comment below any tips you want to give me that can make me look better or something that you learned from this video as well and i guess that's it. Make sure you, sh you follow me on all my social media. Everything will be down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.